So in this chapter we will talk about uh, wearables. So wearables are um, current trends for applications. So basically all your application can be linked to a wearable application and it's a quick access to your app. So you have notifications, you have uh, events and so on that are displayed on your wearables. And there are many kinds of wearables. The first one is activity tracker, then you have watches, then you have glasses, and so on. So how does uh, Android uh, deal with that? Uh, you have to know that uh, a wearable application in Android is only like other applications, except that uh, wearable applications have to have an a dedicated application inside of the phone. Okay, and there are two more uh, uh, notions. The first one is context stream. Context stream is uh, the, st the stream of uh, the notification you have on your watch, for instance. So this is a vertical uh, scroll of notification. And you have cue cards, uh, which are information about uh, the different applications that are installed on your, your, your watch. Okay. So how we can build a wearable activity? As I told earlier, it's an activity like another activity, uh, but you have to know that after a while, uh, the operating system is sleeping. So this means that if you rerun uh, your, your watch, the application will not longer be on the top of the, the stack of active applications. So you have to deal with that. Uh, there is a small screen, uh, small screen size, so you cannot have a lot of buttons inside of this screen, uh, otherwise we cannot click on it. Uh, and you have to have a dedicated app on the phone uh, in order to, to connect with this application. So, Inside of Android Studio, you can easily uh, build uh, your, your app through the AVD Manager uh, and you have a lot of predefined skills. And once you have done that, uh, you may want to build some notification. And this is through the notification builder uh, that you can do that. And as previously, you can do it by setting icons, titles and content. Okay, you have to note that Sometimes your application may be rounded, sometimes your, uh, your watch may be rounded, sometimes it could be square. So you have to deal with that also. So here I build a notification with the, which is quite uh, portable. Okay? And once your notification is built, you just have to build a notification and it works. So now we can talk about specificities of uh, uh, wearables activities, which is uh, the um, interaction with voice. So to interact with voice, uh, there are two kinds of uh, interaction. First of all, uh, set the alarm, take a note, okay? This is predefined action, so your watch can reply to this action uh, already. If you want to start a new, uh, to start your activity, you, you want to press and say, start my activity. And so you have to trigger and you have to detect that to do something. So to catch uh, predefined, predefined apps, you just have to add an intent filter uh, inside of your Android manifest.xml and this intent filter will only be responsive to self note, for instance, and so we can detect, take a note, okay? And if you want to be sensitive to start my application, you just have to specify inside of your application uh, the name of your application, Android label, which is the name uh, that can be picked by the user to run your application. And then we have a launcher as any uh, activity that is the start of the, your application. And so now you can click on your uh, watch and say, run, uh, start my running app. Okay. 
Once you have done that, you may want to interact to, with the user uh, through the voice. And to do that, uh, you have to, uh, to connect uh, with uh, word reconnection. And this cannot be done on the, the watch, which is too small, and because the speech reconnection is, uh, is energy consumer. So we have to connect to the internet uh, or to the phone. And so we build a new intent, which is uh, I have the intention to recognize the, the speech of the user. And then we call start activity for result. So this means that we trigger an intent, and this intent will do something and provide some result. And the result will be displayed on, on activity result. And so we can then call get string array list extra, which is what are the results I have for this uh, request. And this is a list of string. And so we can then explore this list of string in order to do something with the user. And this is it. So to sum up, uh, when developing uh, a wearable, we have uh, an activity that is close to what we already know, uh, but we have to consider uh, s some specificities like uh, context stream or uh, queue card. So this is it. <laughs>